If you've ever searched for AI anime generator from text, you've probably noticed how confusing the space has become. There are dozens of tools, wildly different results, and for beginners, it's hard to tell why one prompt looks amazing on one platform and completely broken on another. So, in this video, I want to slow things down and do something simple. I'm going to walk through five of the most popular AI anime generators you can use from text in 2026, show how they behave with the same kind of anime style idea, and explain who each one is actually for. No drawing skills, no prompt engineering, no technical deep dives necessary. Just practical differences and real use cases. Let's start off with the one that built specifically for anime creators because that context matters a lot. PixAI is designed from the ground up for anime style generation, and that shows immediately in the results. Now, instead of guessing what anime style means, PixAI uses anime specialized models that are trained for things like clean line work, expressive eyes, consistent proportions, and proper shading. When you do, or when you actually type a simple prompt, like a blue haired anime girl in a school uniform at sunset, PixAI doesn't just spit out something vaguely illustrated. It understands the visual language of anime. Lighting feels intentional, faces stay on model, and the overall style is consistent across multiple generations. Now, one of PixAI's biggest strengths is character consistency. If you're creating an OC, a VTuber style character, or a recurring manga character, PixAI makes it much easier to generate the same character again and again without their face drifting every single time. Having said that, also make sure to check out our Reference Pro video for more information because we did do one on that, so here's a quick reminder. But also that's something general image models struggle with. PixAI also helps beginners with its built-in prompt helper, which quietly expands simple natural language into something the model understands better. You don't need to learn tags or complex syntax. You describe what you want and PixAI fills in the gaps. The downside is that PixAI is very anime focused. So if you want photorealism or non-illustrated styles, this isn't the tool for you. But if anime is your goal, this focus is exactly why PixAI stands out. Now let's move to Midjourney, which a lot of people already know, and I know, Midjourney is ex extremely strong when it comes to overall composition, mood, and artistic polish. When you ask for an anime style image, the results often look dramatic and cinematic with beautiful lighting and strong visual impact. For concept, art, or one-off illustrations, Midjourney can be stunning, however, Anime accuracy isn't always its priority. Faces can drift towards semi-realistic or painterly styles, and character consistency across multiple generations is much harder to maintain. Midjourney is best for creators who want striking visuals and don't mind some stylistic variability. It's less ideal if you're trying to build a consistent character over time. Now next is ChatGPT with image generation, which many beginners are already using because it simply feels familiar. The big advantage here is accessibility. You can describe your idea in plain language, ask follow-up questions, and iterate conversationally. For some brand new to AI image generation, this feels very friendly. The limitation is only that anime specificity is not the strongest point. Results can be a hit or miss, especially with facial details and proportions. It's useful for brainstorming, however, early concepts or casual experimentation, but if you're serious about anime style character design, it usually won't be your final stop. Stable Diffusion is a different kind of tool altogether. It's incredibly powerful and flexible, especially if you know what you're doing. With the right models and settings, Stable Diffusion can produce high quality anime images and even rival specialized platforms. The problem here is the learning curve. Beginners often struggle with uh, setup, model selection, parameters, and troubleshooting. For technical users who want maximum control, Stable Diffusion is a playground. For casual anime fans or creators who just want results quickly, it can feel overwhelming. Then there's Canva, which surprises a lot of people by even being in this conversation. Canva's AI image tools are designed for speed and simplicity. You type a prompt, get an illustration, and drop it straight into a design. It's great for social posts, thumbnails, or quick visuals. The trade-off is depth. Anime results are usually stylized by generic with limited control over details or consistency. 
Canva works best for creators who value convenience over precision and don't need deep character continuity. Now, when you stay, take a step back and compare all of these five, the difference becomes clear. General purpose tools like Midjourney, ChatGPT, and Canva are flexible and powerful in broad ways, but they often struggle with anime specific needs like consistency, facial accuracy, and long term character reuse. Stable Diffusion can all do almost anything, but it asks you to pay in time and technical effort. PixAI sits in a very specific sweet spot. It's focused on anime, optimized for beginners and creators, and built to support ongoing projects rather than one-off images. If you're an anime fan who just wants to see your ideas come to life, PixAI gives you clean, reliable results without friction. If you're an OC creator, VTuber, or someone building a visual identity, the consistency alone makes a huge difference. And if you're new to AI entirely, the fact that you can write simple text and still get strong anime style output is a big win. So if you want to try PixAI yourself and see how it compares to the others with your own ideas, you can check it out using the official link in the description down below. Experiment with the same prompt across different tools and you'll quickly see why results vary so much. AI anime generation isn't about finding one best tool for everyone. It's about choosing the right tool for what you're trying to create. And for anime style characters built from text, PixAI is one of the most beginner friendly and creator focused options available right now. Having said that, that'll be all for today's video. Thank you all so much for joining in and I will see you all in the next one.